spirit deep within you that must remain conceived with a heart of a warrior can never be revealed back to the chest it boys when your mother tell you not to because it's a black ninja everybody watches it are there any ninjas around yokohama dad no there haven't been any ninjas around since the 17th century there are still ninjas i've seen them haven't i dad well if you say so see oh it's karate night tonight can you pick the boys up 7 30. Yeah! 
けませんExecutive at Yokohama Foods. What would you say if I started my own business? I would say. I would say it would be an outstanding success. But if we went to America, it'd be an even bigger success. America? Yes. Aiko, I know you always wanted to go back to your country for the visit. To live there? Think of the old adjustment we have to make. But it would be so wonderful for you and for the boys. We could do so well there. Our country is so different. Japan is full of culture and beauty. American cities are so violent. <laughs> You've been watching too many movies. I don't know. Please. I had to think about it. Mom! Mom! America! America! Dear Mr. Saito, I'm pleased to inform you that our client, Mr. Sam Green, will accept your offer. Great! In view of the potential value of the property in a few years, I advise you to accept. We await your further instructions. Yay! I have to go out to Fort Orion. Do you mind? No. I suppose you better start packing.
Who are you? Put it back. And leave. I warn you. Put it back. Forget the past. I cannot forget to my brother. Akira. 
I raised you both as my sons ever since you come to the temple as orphans. Choji chose his own destiny. It was the wrong path. It's not your fault. You must remove the guilt from your mind. Or one day it will kill you. Father, I'm going to America. Start a new life. It's my wife's wish. Her father was an American. Whatever decision you make, I know will be the right one. Akira, I want you to have this. No. When I leave Japan, I will put my shadows behind me. You cannot escape your shadows, my son. You will always be a ninja. Then, at least take this. Thank you. I will take this as a memory. And you must swear that you will not reveal our sect, our identity. This is sacred, into which you are bound until death. I swear. Hey, man, why don't you watch where you're going? Excuse me. Let's go. Mr. Saito. I'm Sam Green. How do you do? And Mrs. Saito, it's lovely to see you. Nice to see you too. Yeah, well, come in, come in, let me show you around it this way. This is the, the main room. As you can see lots of nice space here. Prime location right on the corner. The, uh, the apartment's upstairs. We can see that later. Here's kind of a little laundry room, lots of tubs and buckets and things. What's and in open. there? Oh, uh, that's a little annex. Many use it as a cigar store. Opens right out onto the street. 
Hasn't been used much since many died. Can I look? I guess so. It's been padlocked for years. I lost the key. It'll have to be forced open. May I? Of course. You must be strong as an ox. There's nothing in here. Come on, Sorry, but the memories just come flooding back. It's better. The shadows of yesterday are cleared away. Yes. But the emptiness stays. Uh, let me get some air in here. Have you decided where you're going to move, Mr. Green? Yes, I have a widowed sister in Atlantic City. We'll be company for each other. Stuck. There's a padlock on the outside. Well, I don't remember putting that lock there. <laughs> I must be getting old. You folks decided when you want to start moving in? Is it tomorrow okay? It's fine. We'd like to start to clean the place up. All right, good. Come on, let's have a nice cup of tea. Oh, uh, we really have to go, Mr. Green, but thank you anyway. Uh, we're going to see the sights in town tonight. Oh, I know this place don't look like much now, but you heed them big skyscrapers, and it's all moving this way. Like I said in my letter, this place is going to be a good investment for you and them boys. make a wish. Okay. Okay. That's for you, for you too, for you. Ready? Each, ye, son. Ooh, I made it! <laughs> I think this will outdo it. Uh. There we go. 
we go. Oh, say, that reminds me. I'd better show you that warehouse. Lots of useful storage space there. Good. Thank you. Would you mind taking the boys with you? <laughs> Be a pleasure. Put them in there. Oh. 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 You go sit on the Thank you so much. We'll be back in a little while. Okay. Bye. Bye-bye. Save -bye. yourself. Yeah, the stuff ain't here. Mr. Daly told me that everything was okay. You believe that asshole cop? Why not? They've never given us a problem before. Wait a minute. I'll call you back. Well, it certainly was nice meeting you people. Sam Green, huh? Moving out lock, stock, and barrel. You think he found the jewels and is heading for the hills? Who's the chink? Looks like the new owner. With a wife and two kids. How fortuitous. This place ain't like it was 30 years ago. A lot of seedy characters around, so watch the kids and lock your doors at night, okay? Thank you. Good luck. You too. Oh, thank you. Look at him, the old bastard. Thinks he's gonna sell the jewels and live on Easy Street without money. <laughs> the good scrub down will work wonders. What are you doing? I don't have any money. Now, Sammy, you know you can't go around stealing other people's property. You know that, don't you? I don't know what you're talking about. You know what I'm talking about? Is that a man at a necklace. That's what I'm talking about. No, I, I don't know anything about any yeah. man at a necklace. Yeah, and so where are you going, you know? <laughs> to Atlantic City. <laughs> I sold my business. Ain't that a coincidence? <laughs> we can fight it all this shit. Huh? Time to get it. Where's the necklace? I don't know. Oh. Liar! I don't know. <laughs> Give the old fucker a Viking funeral. <laughs> right. I better get Mr. Newman to call a family conference.
Good afternoon, gentlemen. Very nice of you to come. Well, what can we do for you? I'll tell you. We have a very embarrassing situation here today. We were expecting to pick up the Van Atta necklace. What do you mean? I mean that the necklace was not where you two said you put it. You serious? You see, I'm wondering if you two had a change of heart and decided to keep the necklace for yourselves. Look, if we were going to do that, it would have been a hell of a lot easier to say we never found the stuff in the first place. I don't believe you. You pigs are devious bastards. Don't talk to us like that, punk. How do we know you don't have it? Please, I don't want any arguments. But let me warn all of you. It would be more than a mistake to play games with me. That goes for you too, policeman or no policeman. That's all. I'm house. This has gone far enough. Get me some answers fast. How's that? A uh, little more left. Okay. All right. Thank you. We'll try it here. That'll be one dollar and eighty-nine cents, please. And your change. Thank you so much. Thank you. Come again, please. Thanks. Bye. <laughs> That's a good start. Wait a minute. Oh, wow. <laughs> Wait. Well, what do you think, boys? It's great. Wow. <laughs> Takesh, will you go to the store and get some milk for me? Sure. Yes. I'll go, too. Okay. Like that, that could be it. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, that's definitely my bike, ain't it? That's his bike. Yeah, man. Let's go, man. Come on. Come on. Come on. Yes. Put him on the line. What do you want? If you listen, I'll tell you. Now you bring the van out a necklace to Pier 24 at midnight. And you'll see little Willie here again alive and well. If you're late, we'll call the cops. He'll finish up singing soprano with the angels. Follow me? Necklace? I know nothing about the necklace. Midnight. Akira, call the police. Not yet. Trust me. Uh, 
now, kiddo. Please. Nicholas has gone. I came here to get my son. Gone, huh? Where's it gone? I don't know. But I could describe the man who took it. Oh, yeah? And does he look like that old fat Sam Green? No. He wears a gray suit and he's left handed. Don't get cute with me, you slanty-eyed son of a bitch. Or you'll finish up looking like Chuck. I have told you all I know. Now I will take my son. <laughs> I think I'm gonna have some fun with you. Get away. Catch 
up with a son of a bitch later. Go to the police, Akira. You can't face this alone. The guy's just a punk. He thought I don't think he's got the necklace anyway. Why not? Because guys don't play around where their kids are concerned. Somebody else took the stuff. Like who? Like those two pigs you got on a payroll. Right? Now think about it. In the meantime, your Jap now knows too much. You'll have to kill him before he goes to the police. Well, <laughs> hello everyone. <laughs> hey, when are you gonna take the suit back? <laughs> Lock the doors. Don't go out until I get back. Okay? Come on. Excuse me. I would like to talk to someone about the Banata necklace. Watch the place. You know what to do, Bobo. Mm. Okay. Kidnapped your son because they thought you had the Van Atta necklace. Hmm? I don't get it. That's him. Are you sure? Yes. Are you left handed? Yeah. Something wrong? No. Well, this is old friend Limehouse Willie. You hit the jackpot, Mr. Sato. This guy's the most dangerous man in the state. Why don't you arrest him? It's not that easy. You see, he can't get people to come forward and give evidence. Where does he live? On oh, the shipyard somewhere. I don't know. He's a dock rat. Keep him away from my family. You help us put this man behind bars. I'll give you all the protection you can use. Are you saying protection from criminal is not my right? It's a matter of priorities, Mr. Sato. I gotta put my men where they do the most good. If you just want protection, why don't you go hire yourself a private detective? What do you want me to do? Help us put this man where he belongs. Mr. Newman, what the hell's going on? Sam Green's dead, and I've had this Jap in here with me all morning, blabbing his mouth off. Well, you know what Limehouse is like when he gets anxious. Then tell him to stop playing around and finish the job. Don't worry. Limehouse will take care of everything. He'd better. Oh, and Mr. Daly, I believe you and I need to have a little chat. Let's go.
Tamam please. Kur'an'a biraz. Tamam. <gülüyor> Find out what's happening. Okay. Sorry, Dad. It's my fault. She's badly shaken, but you should be okay in a day or two.
Hold it. Then he can't do anything right. Stay away from the sight of family. They don't know anything about the Banata necklace. If you don't, I promise you, you will pray for death. <laughs> Everybody out! Grab me from behind. And stay away from the state of Gambio, you'll pay for death. What do you think he is? Just what's so hard to hit, man? Hi, Miles. Yeah. Oh, know how he got on the ship. Shit, hell, he wants to climb up the goddamn walls of the ship. Who the hell do you think he is? Slanty, I'd bastard! Well, I'll show him. I'll show him! Mr. Saito. Okay. Right. I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Right. I love you. I love you too. Bye. I'll see 
What we really need around here is a black ninja. Buzz for me, sir? Yeah, yeah, I can't sleep. Can you give me a shot? I wondered how long you'd hold out. Yeah. What time is it? Oh, it's after midnight. You had a busy day, have you? Yeah, it's been a pretty bad one. Well, after this, you'll sleep like a baby. What? Yes, sir. The doctor just went in to give the kid a shot. Stop him, for Christ's sake. Freeze!
please take me to my wife. I think under the circumstances, Mr. Sato, it would be better if... Take me to my wife! The boy is sick. Mr. Sato, if you take the boy, I can't guarantee police protection. My wife is dead. And you talk about police protection? My wife loves this country. Wanted to come here, start a new life. She thought this was the land of the free, but free for what? Free to kill? Free to rape women and the children and go unpunished? Well. I tell you, Mr. Policeman, if we are all free to do what we like, I am free to make sure to all the animals to not go unpunished. I'm very sorry about what happened, but don't take the law into your own hands. And don't try to stop me, Mr. Policeman. Do you understand? Joe.
Red were right. Any sign of the Japs? No. Nah. A couple of hookers told me old Sam Green had a warehouse down on the docks. Maybe they're there. Yeah, I know their place. It's, it's down by Pier 34.
The chap hit man. The boys will take care of him. I better get rid of these. Check that out.
Remove the guilt from your past, or one day it will kill you. Yeah! Ah! 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 
To Japan? No, son. Your mother wanted you to grow up in America. We will keep her wish. Besides, if we stay near her, she will never get lonely. I suppose you heard about the killings. A massacre. Limehouse, Newman. Whole gang wiped out. Even found the Van Atta necklace. Very strange business. Fortunately, gangland-style killings save us a lot of police work. I was curious about Daly and Trumbull, though. I mean, two of our policemen mixed up in all of this. The governor's called in the FBI to help sort it out. Sergeant Daly took the jewels, check his wardrobe. I found the thread from his gray suit in my house. That's very observant. You should have been a detective. There's something else that's even more puzzling. There's a rumor that the assassin was wearing a black oriental costume with a helmet and a sword. Do you believe that? Uh, as some mentioned it could have been a, a ninja. Mr. Sato, you're from Japan. Do ninjas still exist? Ninjas? No, of course not. Dad, you must be watching too many ninja movies. That's what I thought. Well, goodbye, Mr. Sato. I wish you and your family every success over here. Oh, uh, just one more thing. If you run across that ninja, Tell him the police department don't want to see him in this area again, okay?
remain concealed Where the hope 